Hey everyone and welcome to the latest masterclass video and this is featuring a little Hans Macaw named Rue who's still a youngster, about eight months old I think, and his humans, Jamie and her mother Kathy, just wanting to learn how to do some flight training but unfortunately Rue was clipped. So they're just kind of wondering where to go from here and if you can work on flight training with a clipped bird as well as there's some stuff that they wanna improve between the relationship between Rue and the mother Kathy. The good news about flight training is even though you might have a younger bird that was clipped in the very first year of its life and it's coming up on that first molt, you might think you may not be able to start training flight for it. And if it's not flying, there are a lot of steps you can take to get there. So today we're going to see if that's a possibility for Rue right now and hopefully give them the tools that they need to be able to work in the right direction so that Rue's able to fly in the future. She's everything a big one is just yeah. tucked in a little body. And then your goal is flight. The breeder clipped even though I didn't want to. Yep, I was so, I'm so upset about it. I specified yeah. and um, I'm like, feel like I'm gonna cry. Aww. But they like, they clipped her so bad. Like it's so bad. Can she not do anything? She has flown a little bit, don't you think? So she the only time she flies is out of fear. Okay, but and she's capable of a little bit. Yeah, and she wants to all the time, all the time, okay. all the time trying. And it's like breaks my heart. You know, there's, there's debate on whether or not you should clip birds. And my view is that you should be the trainer that is capable to allow the proper amount of flight for your bird. It's a bird. And it, in my salty video on YouTube, over the course of a year, those feathers are gonna grow back in. So you can use that to your advantage to like work with a bird that has a little less ability to get away. So as your learning curve is going, the bird's learning, you're learning together. And just like in your situation, there's so much you can do with a clipped bird to prepare them for free flight. Wow. Just so you know, like even with an older, lar not older, but a larger one-year-old macaw, um, there is a lot of homework you can do. And then when you look at the smaller you go down the scale of the size of birds, the faster they recover from that. So, and the better their skills can develop. Whereas like if we worked, if we tried to get um, a sister to fly, we could probably get flight eventually but it's never gonna look like what it would where you're learning. So there's a lot of hope for, especially, as I said, the smaller you get with birds. Who knew you, you weigh enough for that to happen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at her wings are just so... Ooh, come here, come here. And does she have a treat that she's taking yet? Almonds. Oh, wait, Almonds? What? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, just a treat that she's willing to take. So I always like to see what she's willing to do, and then we can go from there. Okay, she's not. I'm really. She's not good at stepping off my shoulder, so I try to not even let her up my shoulder. Okay. Perfect. So like until she can learn to like step up and like, you know, normally and not have me chase her around like that. Yeah. But sh oh, that was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. The first observation is you'd said you struggle with kind of getting off of you and onto things. I would definitely start treating for her going down okay. there. Yeah, so think of treat size as like the size of a pine nut or in her case, maybe half a pine nut. Have you done any target training with her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do you want to just show us a couple targets? Yeah. Can you do some more? So before we fill up the targets, I want to interject here. Okay. You said that she shows signs of wanting to fly. All the time. What does the scenario need to look like for us to see that here, do you think? I mean, she does it when I walk far. I know what I could, if I get further away from her. Oh yeah, she's watch. getting uncomfortable already. Yeah, and she'll, she'll, that's when she'll start to do it. What I about think, starting on the floor? Uh, that's what I was gonna say. I think I wanna have her like hop off of something. So we'll put her on this and I'll have you come to like this position and try to get a recall. Okay. So let me help set you up for success. If you wanna grab her I'm and sure then you can is. treat her when she goes down onto that box. Little treat. You look good on that box. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so now see if you can get like a little bitty recall. Come here, Come here. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, hi. So she did step on you and I clicked, so go ahead and give her a little treat. Okay, here you go, baby. And see if you can get her to finish the step up to get the treat next time. Oh. Okay, so go ahead and reset yourself so you can get a short little flight. Or like a little hop to you. Okay. I'll do the clicking for you. Alright, come here. Come here, Rue. Come on. Come here. It's okay. Come on, 
tutorial. So at this point, feel free to show her a treat so she remembers that she's working. One, one treat. Okay, and Come then here. go ahead and hide it and ask for a little short recall. Come here. Okay, so this is a great example of a couple things happening. Okay. There's, you've heard us talk about the birdie bubble before yeah. in master classes. Yeah. So in this case, you're in her comfort bubble. So okay. as you noted, if you step back just a little further, she gets, she's going to be uncomfortable and yeah. she's going to naturally want to come to you. You're right. You are so, so go ahead and go to that distance. Okay. There's, there's right there. There we go. Call her. Oh, she did it. Good girl. Right so let's just kind of see what I'll you see you get. work through it and I'll help guide you. Okay. All right. Should I use a target stick or no? Whatever you need to do. It looks like she's... Yeah, okay. Looks like she might be okay with that. I'm just going to empty the tank first poop. here. <laughs> Don't try. You got to jump down. So that's going to be a confusing um, signal to her. Okay. But if you held it like here... Yeah, then she knows she's got to come down. Yeah. Okay. All right, so if you come switch me spots and do that, I bet you'll have a little bit more success. Okay. There she is. Right there. She's right there. So come back here. a little bit further. Come here. Yeah, so let's do what we call resets. We'll, okay. You and I will head over here for a sec. Okay. Oh. Okay, now, now we have interest, right? Oh. So now go ahead and come back to the edge of the table. On you so we can lure her if you need. Come here. Come here. Real. There you go. Yeah, holding that. Come here. Want treat? Come on. So we're kind of losing it. So go ahead and just put the treat on the table for her. Okay. Since we did promise it. She's good. So missing is that we need to work on something else. Here we go. Good girl. I don't have a treat on me. Do I treat her? Yeah, you treat her for that. I think that um, as as a visual for you to take home, that would be what I'd be doing to work towards flight. Okay. I think that we're a month from that, right. based on what I'm seeing. Yeah. So um, I think part of the reason we're getting a lot of hesitation is that some of the foundational stuff's not solid, solid. enough. Yeah, I agree. So um, I want to shift because we got about a half hour left. Okay. I want to shift focus to like doing more basic like targets for both people okay. and, and stuff yes, like that yes, and get yeah. that better yeah um, i definitely plan on like scheduling more consultations with you guys so cool. cool yeah i'm seeing a lot of like the fact that we can't just reset her easily and it's yeah. multiple steps to get her back yeah. on the t bridge is sabotaging our efforts to be able right. to like work this work on, and so yeah. we're just kind of constantly losing the motivation and losing everything because we you can't just like handle her and put her back right exactly that so i sense. do think that the handling is lacking for whatever reason she's really funky about your hand yeah. and i do think that there has been some like accidental conditioning for certain mm -hmm. behaviors and mm -hmm. What I see with the smaller species is that people tend to let these guys get away with murder because they're so tiny. And it's true. I'm Same really little bad. dogs. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so they end up just having these like really crappy behaviors because we didn't treat this one like it's this size. Right. Which is why cute. I like wanted to like get yeah. to you guys, you know, as soon as possible. So. Yeah. So. But yeah, I definitely like, I'm, I am like in love with her. Yeah. You know, like it's been a really big like changing point in my life to get her so you know i'm like have everything but she's a bird and she's an animal and like you say she's really only in it for the gain of pleasure and like to avoid pain so but i do like let her get away with a lot yeah. <laughs> I just have like, yeah. um anytime i leave my room i i take her with me so like i'm interacting with her all the time without it being training you, you just know. It, well, it is trained. Okay. Even though you don't think it's a formal right. session, she's learning to be okay. better or worse. So she's learning your shoulder becomes a spot you can't get her off. Yeah. She, you trained her. Yeah. Right. So just keep in mind every interaction is always a training session. Okay. And this animal, what if it could kill you? Yeah. Oh, I probably wouldn't let it on my shoulder. Right. I probably <laughs> wouldn't interact if it wasn't receptive. You know, and that is going to put you in the mindset to go back to what I said about kind of mimicking nature and giving opportunities to earn reward and you'll have a, a more, I don't want to say like 
conformist, but she's going to do more what you want because you're starting to condition her that there's a, there's a reward for all these mm -hmm. good behaviors okay. that you deem as good behaviors, right? Yeah, because I worry about hearing you say, um, every time I leave the room, I take her with me. Because what about the time that you can't and you've built this expectation that every single yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. Whereas if it was varied and sometimes you took her, sometimes you didn't, sometimes you came back for her, sometimes you didn't. Like she would never know and there yeah. would never be that expectation okay. of I go every time because now you've given her something to throw a fit about. Right, yeah, well, yeah, in the times that I don't is yeah. when she screams. Yeah. So. And yeah. that's just oh. because you've conditioned her that right. she's supposed to go every time. Totally. Just basic Target, target small, small treats. Okay. Yeah. Those are two. Yeah. Did you know that Jamie's mom's name is also Kathy? No way. Oh, That's really? crazy. Right. <laughs> so is my mom. That <laughs> Good name. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. <laughs> yeah. And that was great. So how she got Rue's attention before asking for the targeting was perfect. So always make sure with sister that you have her attention before you ever cue her to do anything. Are you done? Okay. Perfect. So Kathy, I'm going to have you do that now. From one end to the Yeah. Did you notice like how we were kind of saying for Michelle, holding the stick just far enough that you're not right. going to get like attack bite? Right. Just, the goal is to touch the stick. And you are pairing the emotion the bird has with you doing that behavior. Okay. So make sure that you're not going too far too fast. Right. And we'll, we'll kind of help you. We'll watch one and we'll kind of help guide the brain. Yeah. But I've practiced a little bit. But you have her attention, so. Yeah, she's ready. Put the treat down for him. Click. It's okay. Click, Mom. Okay. Now put the target stick away, Mom, so it's not distracting you. Oh, I yeah, like there's too many yeah. things. No, this is, this is good. It's okay, it's okay. It's I know that was kind of overwhelming. So but just take a step back for a second. Next one, Jamie, I'll have you stand back the treat. Okay. And Kathy, you'll do, you'll do all, all you have to focus on is the target. Okay, good. And then Who do you want to put? The all right. So I, mm -hmm. I, and I do want Kathy to be cooking. Okay. Yeah, because she's real bad at the cooking part. Sorry. So just think, you're only asking one thing, yeah. and that is the target. And right. as soon as she touches it, you're clicking, okay. and then you're removing what you're asking because she okay. already completed the behavior. So the reason that why Jamie yelled at you about holding up the treat is because yes. you were like, do you want a treat or do you want a target? And oh, she's that's like, true. Um, that's true. they both oh, equal the same know. thing, I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just got my attention. So much better. Good job, Mom. Yay, yeah, good okay. job. It was funny because you're like, she's got my attention. <laughs> and everybody else has been like, all right, we've got her attention. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so notice how you're holding this target stick right now? Yeah. I want you to have it dropping to your side. Yeah, that's no so, longer a cue. Oh, okay, because she's looking at me. For, oh, she's okay. waiting. She's I got watching it. the stick. Okay. Yep. We're just breaking it down step by step right now. Cool. Oh, Should okay. I do one more time? Uh-huh. Yep. Is she done eating? Yep. Perfect. Mm, yeah. Good job, and rest the hand. Good. Awesome. Good and I job. think she'll handle this in like bite-sized chunks if you help and yeah. you do like 50% okay. and then slowly start giving responsibility over. Yeah, because for a while I was having only my mom give her almonds because that's her treat food and she doesn't get them even every day. She doesn't even get almonds every day. Okay. So no, she has that with me. She's been oh. at work and so I've been... Well, she comes out of the cage, you know, because I'm gonna, I want to try to bring her upstairs and feed her, which she was doing really good for three days, and then it was like, no more. I don't know what happened. I so I, I just give her an almond when she comes out of the cage and right to me, because okay. she doesn't run away from me. So I, I have done that, mm -hmm. and I don't know. Can you zoom in on the bird perch real quick? Oh. Everybody just pause where you are. Oh. Hold on, just give her She's pulling the vet wrap off of it. Uh, so that's strange. why we need to get one of those. Yes. I, I made this myself, as you can tell. <laughs> it just gives her something clean. There's already been big oh, improvement, so. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. That's yeah. why I wanted my mom to come. Nice. Good girl. Perfect. Now go to the other side of the perch. I'm just trying to change up certain things. So, yeah. Good job, Mom. Perfect on the timing of the clicking. I'm getting better. Yeah, she was are. looking for the treat before you walked up. I know. Oh, thank you. So this time, can you give your mom a treat for her left hand? Can you hold this new left mm -hmm. hand? Got it. It's really small. Got it. So you can lower that hand so she's not paying attention to it. Perfect. And go ahead and do a target. And she's like, heck yeah! <laughs> Alright. Remember to 
lower that stick. Lower, oh. lower, lower. lower That's, I always forget to do that. Because I'm focusing on her so yeah. much. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and grab another treat. We're going to do the same thing. Just remember, after she clicks, don't be in such a rush to give her the treat. Oh, okay. Just lower that hand. Get the, get the cue out of the way, because we're done. Get the spot. Okay, she should like here. Have her attention. Lower the stick. Oops, I failed on that one. It's okay. It just takes practice, Mom. See if I can remember to lower the stick. Perfect. Good Yay. job. Mom. That click was for you, Kathy. All right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. To kind of recap, so we can finish off with Sister yeah. doing that okay. as as the two of you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and if there's any hesitation, keep in mind that if you're doing this near her main cage, there's going to be distraction in the cage. It took her two hours to be okay with this room. Right. Um, you probably don't have that same problem at home. Yeah. So. But keep in mind the environment that you're in may have a huge impact on how uh, receptive she is to certain things. Mm -hmm. And so if she's a little hesitant, then Jamie, you go ahead and do the warm up, and then Kathy, you pick up just like we did in this last session. Okay. So you do one or two, and then the reason I had to moving around the perch was to just really test how receptive she was to you speaking that same language right. of training. Same like she really she's immediate. Right, yeah. And like when you said, I have her attention, <laughs> she has my attention. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've but ever heard. But you were totally dialed into what was happening and what we, what I was looking for. Yeah. And you verbalized it. And so those are the things you want to look for. Now, in the beginning where we didn't have attention and we were messing with how far back we stood, yeah. you'd want to not train in that situation right. yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. not set up for success. Yeah. I was not cueing in on her not liking me and so I wanted to push it more you know and just naturally because I wanted her to, to get on my hand and she wouldn't <laughs> anyway um, so I just realized that what I was doing was wrong you know it was scaring her more than mm -hmm. anything I think that the final thing that I'll leave you with for the goal of free flight like I said in the very beginning of this if your bird in the wild is normally expending physical and mental energy in the hopes of maybe finding food with no guarantee mm -hmm. How can you provide those scenarios at home? So if the meals were divvied up throughout the day, so she has to hop down, run across the table, and then she eats out of the bowl in your hand, that's going to set you up for when her wings do come in, that she's going to hop down that table and flutter across to get the food. You could feed dinner out of your hands. Um, but, but especially for small birds, and the species tends to be a little bit more skittish, your unfair advantage could be that you just sit down every night and feed dinner out of your hands. And that's going to condition her to, to no matter what, right now it's gonna be run to you, then it's gonna be flutter to you, and then it's gonna be fly to you. For Jamie and Kathy, I think the big realization was that what their long-term goals were are not realistic to achieve in today's session. Although we were able to see what the progress and what the steps would be, we had to definitely backtrack and say, okay, the short-term goal is to make it so that Kathy is able to also interact with this bird. And a lot of that's just helping them learn how to speak the language of training. And so by having Jamie do the training and then her mom be able to follow up with the training, Jamie specifically was able to catch little things to be able to help her mom through it. And it was a really good breakthrough moment, I think, for her to also see through her eyes what it might look like from the other perspective. So I think through helping her mom, she's able to help make her own mistakes and catch her own mistakes in the future. I think the other thing that Jamie did that was really interesting in the class was that a lot of the behaviors that she would ask for, she was putting the bird in an awkward position to be able to actually do. And we constantly had to be like, oh, it's a little awkward to put the target there and expect the bird to be able to touch it because it was in this in-between place that was just, I mean, for lack of a better word, it was just awkward. It's and like so if the bird could levitate, could go over <laughs> and touch the target. Yeah. And so I think drawing attention to that for us to draw attention to that to Jamie really helped kick the camera. <laughs> 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 um, but helps kind of bring some clarity to why she might not be getting the behaviors that she's asking for because what she's asking for is a little unrealistic and hard for the bird to achieve. Whereas when we were able to break it down and you said, hey, go to this position and hold the target here and do it from this angle, it made it easier. And I think a lot of the things people forget is that, um, you know when you're asking a bird, the closer you are, the harder it is for the bird sort of thing when it's a descent. 
Yeah. Um, she didn't understand that. She thought the closer she got, the easier it would be, but it was actually the opposite. So really being able to play with her positioning. So although flight is definitely in this bird's future, when you switch the environment like this, that bird didn't seem to be as open to or receptive to those steps. And so I think now they kind of have an outline of what to do moving forward, but it is something that takes weeks, months, sometimes years for certain birds. But I think that they're equipped now to be able to start working on the basics with their clipped bird to be able to have it be successful once the wings are all the way grown in. Yeah, and it was interesting to kind of be able to acknowledge that and be able to say, you know, you guys have bigger things to work on right now, more important things to work on, I should say, um, that will help build the foundation to the point where you're gonna be really successful with flight training down the road. So it was interesting to have them kind of have certain goals that are definitely achievable, but not something that we could necessarily see success on today, but it's something that they can go home with the tools to execute themselves. For sure.